Look at that. Lo and behold, V2.02, December 11th, 2024. A little Christmas present. Hey, guys, how you been? It's been a long time. Uh, seems like months here. Um, I think I went down a rabbit hole playing with some home lab stuff and haven't been playing with radios much, but uh, got the FX4CR on the bench today. Um, just because I was uh, putting together a little video that I promised a couple months ago about uh, the V2 firmware from F5BUD, uh, the V2 firmware that uh, added some capability to the FX4CR that I was really excited about. And I promised a little how-to uh, video on how to flash the firmware, uh, but more importantly, how to calibrate all the settings because the firmware is significantly different than the stock firmware um, that comes with the radio. So there's there's a little bit of a calibration process. And I put a little video together, but lo and behold, as I was wrapping that video up, I saw that Daniel dropped another version of the firmware. And if you look, I'm going to power this puppy up and hit menu and look at that. Lo and behold, V2.02, December 11th, 2024. A little Christmas present um, <laughs> for us. Uh, actually, I haven't uh, looked into the firmware uh, it, since July, since I made that last video. Uh, but since then, he's added uh, some neat functionality. As you recall, I was really excited about the CW uh, messaging that's on there, but I'll, I'll show you a little bit about that. That has improved as well. Um, and I got the straight, or I got my key hooked up here. Um, but uh, one of the things that I found that is improved too is you can press um, the CW button and CW turns green and you, you get in a practice mode and now it's just a keyer. It's not going to transmit or anything and it'll actually show what you're, uh, what you're keying down here. Now I'm not a CW operator so don't laugh at me but uh, it does seem to work a lot smoother. I, I, when I first tried it out um, it's, it seemed to be a little laggy or maybe, it, it, maybe I'm just not a good CW operator but it seemed to miss some characters. But this seems to be a little better. I'm a little slow, but it, it, it looks it looks good. Before it was uh, it, it was missing a couple things, but man, it's really smooth. You can hit AF and it clears that out. Um, and then if you hold down the CW button, you get the messages, right? And you can uh, you can hit. Uh, each one of these buttons to the corresponding message. So SSB will send the CQ POTA. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that it did that before, but the old version that I had originally shown off, uh, you had to use your computer and download these messages. But now it's in a menu item. So if you go in the menus, and go through the, you can go through, and now you see this messages can now be programmed straight off the menu. <laughs> really cool. Um, I'll, I'll, here's one that I'll, I'll add in here. And you can e hold AF and, and delete a character, um, or you can hold it down and delete the whole thing. Oh, see, like that, I'm a little slow. Uh, but uh, oop, I'm a little too fast for it. Apparently, let me let me go back. I might be uh... there. We go, there we go, nice and smooth. So now all the messages are in there. Uh, you can you can edit them right in the radio. No more uh, computer needed. So man, Daniel's been doing a, a bang up job here. But here's something I'm pretty excited about because I'd never got my uh, never got my uh, CW skills up to par like you, like you just noticed. But look at this voice record. Now when I'm uh, doing a little QRP out at the the Poda, um, I can record. 
let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to try this. This is, this just dropped, uh, what was it, two days ago? Um, so it's a, it's a work in progress, but it, it seems like it, it's functioning here. So you can record up to 10 seconds and then it, it can loop. Um, but uh, let's, let's give this a try. CQ, 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 CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is Kilo, Kilo 7, Juliet X-Ray Golf. And then you'll see it's, uh, it's writing uh, to the memory. And then there's a little, um, let's see, writes to the, the memory, that little ST32 controller in there. And then you can monitor it back. Uh, not probably not. I don't know if you could hear that. Let me let me turn up the volume here. Let me let me. Uh, I don't know if you could hear that. Audio still a little a little shaky. Could be the mic. Um, I don't have another mic for this radio. But uh, let's li let's listen to it. Let's see if we can hear this. So not the, you know, I wouldn't say it's crystal clear, but man, it, it'll work. Uh, especially when you're a QRP, you, you could be calling, you could be calling for a while here. Um, so uh, just dropped, I've been playing with it here, but if we go over to SSB um, and then hold down uh, single sideband, there you go. You see the, uh, you see the messages there. It says, uh, you hit SSB once and it'll call once. Uh, you hit MV, it'll call every 15 seconds, uh, every 45, every 60, and it'll just loop. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, I don't have anything. Uh, it doesn't, let me see, I'll, I'll play it right now, but I don't think you get audio. Um, it transmits, but there's no, there's no monitor for that. I believe that's why there's a monitor in the, the menu. Um, so, I just wanted to show that show that guys. I do have a video dropping soon uh, on me flashing the firmware, and then do, going through a calibration uh, setup. The tools you need. It's basically following uh, Daniel's well-written service manual, but uh, just just wanted to put it out there because I'm no radio expert, no electronics geek. But if I could do it, anybody could do it. And I just wanted to encourage everybody to try the firmware. And if the whole calibration and setup is, has, has scared you from doing it. Um, I, I just wanted to show how easy that was to do. So um, great work uh, to Daniel. Um, F5BUD, check out his GitHub page, download the firmware, play with your radio, get out there uh, and have fun, guys. Um, really excited about this I, and just excited about how much work he's putting into it. Uh, so I plan on getting this all tuned up and getting out there this weekend and, and playing radio. I hope everybody else out there does the same. All right, guys, have fun. See you on the next one.